buildings. It clearly says in the covenant documentation that reduced estates and associated costs will allow the council to protect as far as possible frontline staff and service provision, acknowledging that people, not buildings, deliver services. I'm just wondering what your view is on that. Thank you, Councillor. I think it's the issue you raised earlier with Councillor Hayes. I mean, I don't think he's actually understand. He didn't understand that we had a free consultation and that we could have a consultation later. I just think that even central government, you know, the Tory coalition government are saying to us, you have got to target the families that most need support and help. As I said to you, you know, with children on preschool meals, two years or more time to start the school, it's an imperative for this council to ensure that we give the best opportunity for those children, for all our children. And we certainly want to target those areas in that. I mean, it's easy to sort of make sort of bland statements about, you know, we support all our children and the best for all our children. But we know as a council that you've got to go that extra mile, so to speak, to support the children. I mean, I made a plea, you know, this evening to the Tory and Liberal councillors to just go back to their government and say, just give us back the money. Because if you are really serious about early years, and I think hopefully we all would be, then give us back that one third that you've taken from this council, from other councils as well. You know, I think that's really important. But I think, yes, it is extremely important to target the children who need it the most. That is what we are looking at. That is what is, I mean, the outcomes, as the leader of the council said, is the most important thing. We want to be able to judge what the outcomes are when we target the children properly. I've got an aspiration as the director of children's services that by 2016, that 80% of the children in the country will have a better chance of getting into school. Thank you. Thank you, Councillor. 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 Thank you,
And that is the driver, regardless of, you know, whatever. We have to make the savings. I've indicated why we have to make the savings, because of our reduction in grants and money being diverted to other sorts of areas that were made priority by the coalition government. That's, that's what they think. We think there it is. I think the consultation for the, the, the next six weeks it will, it will, it will be robust. We will be inviting all partners to participate in it. We want to hear all the views of, of our partners, schools, anyone else who's involved in, 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 in area here. We haven't got all the knowledge. We haven't got all the knowledge. We want to listen. We want to look at what is good practice out there and use that good practice to write it out in different areas. So we're not saying, I know there's excellent practice out there. This is a good opportunity to, to be able to put all that good practice in and look at what is happening throughout the authority. Just, just a couple of questions. Yeah, 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 y